Enniskillen lies where two lakes join in the beauty of County Fermanagh. The waterways which draw the tourists now brought colonists in earlier times. In what's become known as the Plantation of Ulster, they founded Enniskillen, the island town, in the reign of James I. But Fermanagh has an older and more sacred history. The early Christians came here to commune with God, it's been said, in holy isolation. On Devonish Island, they made a safekeeping for the faith. Travelling for man is like tracing the history of worship. These stone carvings are on White Island. Some see them as pre-Christian. Others have found there the likeness of St. Patrick. Fermanagh was a kind of stepping stone in the way of these Christians. It's possible to stop here as they did and look back with them at older gods and forward to the spread of the new faith they'd founded and helped to grow. And side by side with those scattered monastic settlements, there slowly grew the parishes, the dioceses, the familiar Christian communities of today. But the source was the same, the missionary zeal of St. Patrick and his right-hand man in Fermanagh, St. McCartan, to whom the Church of Ireland Cathedral here in Inniskillen is dedicated. Tonight it's a gathering place for choirs of all denominations. So let's join them now for their songs of praise, beginning with that great hymn of thanksgiving, Praise my soul, the King of Heaven. Portora Royal School in Inniskillen was founded in 1618. Among its later pupils was Henry Francis Light, the writer of two favourite hymns and songs of praise. Praise my soul, the King of Heaven, we've just heard. The other is that great hymn of confidence in God, Abide With Me.
Richard Pierce is an architect who's interested in preserving the character of Inniskillen. We have possibly one of the finest main streets in a county town in Ireland. It is particularly long because it reaches between the two uh, bridges, which are almost a mile apart. It bends and meanders so that uh, at all times there is something ahead of you worth looking at. And the skillen sits very nicely in the landscape. Unfortunately, in terms of detail, in recent years, uh, we have had what I call uh, a backyard attitude towards the, the, uh, the river front. And I think that possibly more thought could go into how the lake front is handled. Given your concern for the town, Richard, and its development, it can't have been very hard to choose a hymn. No, Seamus. Very easy. The first hymn that came to mind when I was asked to choose a hymn was For the Beauty of the Earth, For the Glory of the Skies. I think a hymn that is very appropriate to Enniskillen and Fermanagh. Mary Morrow combines an interest in horses with a concern for the rehabilitation of handicapped children. Justin, good. Stephen, good. Eddie, that's very nice. This riding for disabled group has, was formed about five years ago. We meet once a week during term time on a Thursday morning. Caroline, good. Look straight ahead. Keith, D look up. Keith, heels down. You can imagine, for instance, someone sitting in a wheelchair, uh, they're put on a pony's back, they're immediately uh, mobile, they can negotiate rough paths and obstacles, and this gives them a sense of freedom and achievement. She's going very well. <laughs> I feel I get quite a lot out of riding for disabled because of the benefits that I have derived from horse riding, not professionally, but just sheer enjoyment. And I feel the more you put into something, the more you get out of it. All our helpers here have the same feeling that uh, the work they do, it's not a burden. They're getting a lot out of it as well as the children. I want you to bend in and out the cones and come straight back and then number two goes. Are you ready? Steady, go! I have chosen all people that on earth do dwell 
because I feel that it's joyful, full of enthusiasm, and it's for everyone. It's reassuring for why the Lord our God is good. His mercy is forever sure. His truth at all times firmly stood and shall from age to age endure. James Robinson is a Presbyterian elder. He has found peace and happiness through, of all things, a serious illness. Well, uh, I had the great fortune to be under the care of a, a doctor. And uh, he came in one day when another thing occurred to add to the depression, and that was that a very close family relative had very suddenly died from the same thing. And you can imagine that uh, the depression wasn't lifted. So he simply came in and he said, why worry? And he pointed up and he says, your God not let you die. And that struck me, why should he say, your God? I hadn't thought of it that way. Afterwards then, this card arrived. It was from the uh, authority prayer group within our own church, the Presbyterian Church. And it quoted from Luke 4 and 40 and said, he laid his hands on every one of them and healed them. Now, this made me wonder, and I reached out, I reached out my hand to lift my Bible from the bedside table, and it fell open at the 124th Psalm. I to the hills will lift mine eyes, from whence doth come mine aid. That's the metrical version I'm quoting. And then it goes on to the last verse. The Lord shall keep thee from this day forth and evermore. Do you mean the hymn you've chosen, uh, What a Friend We Have in Jesus, is one I associate mostly with children. What significance has it for you? It has a great significance in that, I think. It's not alone for children. It's for people of every age, every creed. Put any title you like on it. 
It is because what a friend we have in Jesus. Everybody needs Jesus as a friend. Michael Murphy is a Roman Catholic. He farms about 80 miles west of Belfast. Many people think, you know, that Northern Ireland ends just outside Belfast and tend to regard people living in Fermanagh as being away in the outback. But, you know, we have a lot going for us in Fermanagh, and particularly if we could get good summer weather, we have the most beautiful country in the whole world. It's a great life on the farm. You know, it brings you very close to God. When you're out working in the fields and you see his hand in everything you do, whether the weather is good or bad, you see his hand behind it. My wife is Church of Ireland and I always make a point of going to the Harvest Thanksgiving service. And that's probably why I chose my hymn, Come Ye Thankful People, Come. It's a great song, song of thanks to the Lord for the great blessings he has given us during the year. And then if we look at the last verse, you know, where we hope that we'll all be safely gathered into the great heavens hereafter. And it's a song of hope in the last verse where the Lord will gather in his harvest.
Gordon Wilson is a local businessman. He's not a native of Inniskillen, but he's made his home here. I like it very much. I find the people very friendly and very easy to get on with. We have the loveliest county in Ireland, if only we had the wit to enjoy it and appreciate it. What do you mean by that, Gordon? Well, here we are with our lovely lakes and hillsides, countryside, and our great hospitals and schools. And really, altogether, I would have thought the perfect place to live and work. And what's wrong with it, then? Well, one is aware that we have this division in our community. Relationships are not all they might be. And there is a degree of intolerance, which really is unworthy of us. What can you do about that? What did you see as something positive that you could aim for? Yes, some five or six years ago, I had a dream which involved the young people in our town. And I asked the local Rotary Club to become involved, and they did. And we organised a series of what we call Schools in Combat, where we asked all of the 12 schools in the town to each give us 10 minutes of entertainment. We said to them, show us what you can do. And they did. And we got them together for the first time under the one roof. What good do you think came of it all? I think it made the kids realise, perhaps for the first time, that they had a lot more in common than they had themselves realised, and that they had the same problems in school, that the same hassle with their parents. And altogether, it was a, an excellent exercise in community relationships. But it was obviously important to you that they were making music together, as we're doing tonight. Uh, tell me about your hymn. What is it, by the way? Jesus, you lover of my soul. A really outstanding hymn. Charles Wesley's greatest, and indeed perhaps the finest hymn ever written, if I may say so. It says it all. It's the whole gospel. Thomas Clements has just retired after 15 years as Dean of this cathedral. My first thoughts very naturally are about this building here which has housed the worship of hundreds of people who have let me into the most private areas of their lives and the most important areas of their lives. This is something one can't possibly forget. Of course, being here 
naturally gave me the chance to be associated with all kinds of groups and societies and associations, as well as religious bodies outside our own parish. And I think the thing that uh, I appreciate most is, I've noticed that during these last two or three years, is the, the new spirit of what I call sympathetic understanding, which has arisen up between what we used to call the two communities within the province. So how does that make it important for you then, that though you're retiring, you're not leaving the area? Well, first of all, of course, uh, all the friends we have are in Enniskillen and uh, the surrounding areas. But it's more than that. It's just that I've seen the promise of great things to come rising up it, amongst the young, particularly, in the community. And I, I must see the development of that. I must see the fulfillment of my dearest dreams. Come with us, Heavenly Father, into all the relationships of our daily lives and help us at all times to think, say, and do only such things as shall be acceptable unto thee. We ask it in the name and for the sake of Jesus Christ, who is our Lord. Amen. Amen. And may we ask you all to join in saying the words of the grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.